My name is Dr. Sarah Aturia. I'm an anaesthetic and pain consultant and I practice at the BMI Saxon Clinic and BMI Chiltern Hospital. I manage patients who have got acute chronic and cancer pain. My aim here really is to improve the patient's function both physically, emotionally and as well psychologically and get them back to a reasonably good quality of life. Pain is a common reason for attendance of a GP or hospital. So there is a lot of patients that present with pain. Now there is a statistic that was shown in a study by the British Pain Society in 2011 that actually two out of five patients in the UK population actually have pain that does affect their quality of life. So about 14% of those have moderate or severe disabling symptoms from the pain condition. So my role as a pain consultant is to help these patients through uh, the assessment of their pain condition. I listen to their story, I examine them, look at the investigations and quite typically the patients I receive are more musculoskeletal. So you've got neck pain, you've got whiplash, you've got back pain, you've got sciatica. So that's quite uh, the highest proportion of patients. At the same time, we've got nerve pain, post-surgical pain, shingles pain. And on the other end of the spectrum, I've got pelvic pain and fibromyalgia patients that come to see me. Pain can be looked at a, as a, a biopsychosocial experience. What that means is that there is the physical aspect of the condition that's causing pain. But over time, you notice that there are psychological elements that come in. But more bad days than good days. Uh, how is someone coping with the pain? And then it develops into one social circumstances, relationships, workplace. So the, my management of pain patients is holistic. I cover all areas of the patient's pain. So from the bio side of things, I'm looking at medications, injection treatment where appropriate. I'm also looking at keeping these patients active. So I often integrate and combine techniques, and this would be you know, suitable for different patients. With the physiotherapist, I'm working to improve your activity, strengthen your core, strengthen your spine. Some patients need psychologically based techniques. So I use all these in combination and targeting uh, individual patients. Uh, as well as addressing their concerns, there is a good element in the pain clinic to listen to patients' conditions because they've had a long journey chronic pain patients. So that forms a big basis of what are you asking to see? What are you looking for? So a question I ask my patients are always is what are your expectations? What are you looking for in the pain clinic? So I'm hoping with, all, with that in mind, I'm trying to address the conditions that are particularly affecting them. Now, from the pain perspective, Injections, for example. What sort of injections do we perform? Well, it depends on the condition again. So there are, I've put them in, in three groups. So there are those that target the area of pain. So if it's an, in, say if it's a sacroiliac joint in common in back pain, so if sacroiliac joint injection into that area does ease the pain for a season. Trigger points into muscles, injections into scars. So that's one group of injections. The second group of injections targets the nerves. Say someone's got back pain, it's lumbar pain, targeting the nerves that supply these little joints called facet joints, eases the pain for a season, okay? Then the next step of treatment is what we call radiofrequency. That's using the tip of a needle to cauterize, going into those areas where you've had pain relief and burning the nerves. That prolongs the benefit. So why do we perform injections? Like I said, it is going to be multidisciplinary. It does form part of someone's treatment. So I'm hoping when you get this window of pain relief, I'll get you to work with a physiotherapist to strengthen your spine, to rehabilitate, to break the cycle of pain. So they serve a role of one, being diagnostic. It's gone there, it's eased your pain, it's diagnostic. It breaks the cycle of pain, gets you to engage with the physiotherapist, do more strengthening exercises. And if I can get to the stage of having to burn the nerves that supply the joints or pass a current through the, the nerve that's causing pain, then we prolong the benefit and give you a better quality of life. Pain injections are part of the treatment package. And these are performed in a theatre environment under X-ray guidance and ultrasound because that helps us to target the area of pain. Say if John's got back pain, I'll explain the procedure, take your consent and take you to theatre. We get you to lie on your tummy because we are targeting, say, this part of your back. 
And when you're lying on your tummy, I'll give you a mild sedative. That just calms things down enough for us to carry on the procedure. And use the x-ray to tunnel the view into the joint where we're going to inject. If it's an ultrasound, we target the muscle. Say if it's a piriformis muscle, ultrasound to target where we're going into the muscle. We put a local anesthetic to numb your skin before we inject the area of concern. We do examine you after the procedure to see how well it's working and if you're able to mobilize, then we can get you home after that. So it's in theater under full aseptic conditions and with a degree of sedation. So we've got two conditions here, acute pain and chronic pain. Acute pain is specific and comes on with a broken leg, appendicitis. It gets better after the appendix is taken out. After the leg heals, it gets better. So acute pain usually follows a natural course of illness. Chronic pain is, it's often used, as, counted as three months, but we're not sure what the transition is. So when it's chronic, it means that the pain has persisted beyond the time it should have healed and resolved. So I'm actually looking to manage this pain timely. We spoke about the biopsychosocial earlier. So the sooner we target the bio side of pain, then you're less likely to get the good days, bad days, mood and social effects of the pain condition. So I really want to see patients early enough. And this usually means, you know, the pain has lasted more than it should. Pain symptoms are very severe. It's not getting better with medication or physiotherapy or activity. It's affecting your sleep, your quality of life your work. So I would like to see patients soon enough so we can target that pain and get it managed better. There are however a few patients that I want to see quite earlier on in the illness. Nerve pain for example, shingles, complex regional pain syndrome. Some of these pains need to be looked at much sooner so we can optimize patients pain management and get better results from it. We hear the word cure and pain management. The word cure really fits in with conditions that are acute. That way we're able to resolve a condition and you don't see the patient again. It's those, you know, that percentage that crosses over onto the chronic side. We talk about pain management because two things have happened. The cycle of pain has gotten somehow. And secondly, there are some pain pathways that have also developed as the condition has become more chronic. So with pain management, we are targeting injections, yes, medications. There, there are a proportion of patients who get better and you don't see them again. But you find, particularly with wear and tear changes that happen, say, in the back or in the hip, that the patient may come back to see you again when the pain condition has flared up. And hopefully with the techniques that we institute, say, if you come and see me, say, John comes and sees me with back pain, you've had injections into his spine, and we've done the radio frequency, and that's burning the nerves that supply the joints. Unfortunately, these nerves grow back. But during that season of, say, 12 months, 18 months, John has made lifestyle changes. He's done exercises, he's strengthened his spine, shed off a few pounds, and he's in a better position. You may get, you know, a niggling back pain that you're like, oh, I can manage that, life carries on. But I must warn patients that with chronic pain conditions, they're mostly good days after treatment. They may be bad days, but you're in a better position to manage them together with these integrated self-management techniques. So the earlier, the better. I see self-funding uninsured patients over the age of 18. A referral is preferred, however, it's not essential. To book an appointment, you can phone the Saxon Clinic directly or get onto the Saxon website or my professional one.